good morning friends now i would like to discuss about the bus and memory transfer in computer organization bus and memory transfer concept in computer organization so we know that the computer consisting of number of components so let us consider this is the one component c1 and another component c2 either to transfer the data between these two components or two parts or to transfer the control information or addresses we interconnect these two components with the help of set of wires we know that the set of wires is known as a bus once again i am repeating bus means set of wires which interconnecting the all the components within the system now we can perform the construction of the common bus construction of the common bus here the common bus construction is done by the two components one is the multiplexers multiplexers and another one is the registers we using these two things to construct the common bus now we can learn what is a multiplexer multiplexer is simply known as a mux multiplexer is a combinational circuit so the black diagram of multiplexer is like that we are going to be show like a box and we write mux that means it is multiplexer and its capacity inside a box that equal to 4 into 1 a multiplexer is a combinational circuit which accepts 2 to the power of n inputs right let us consider 1 2 3 4 here n value is 2 that means 4 inputs this is zero input first input second input third input and one of the input is turned as the output so this is the output line so for that reason we are going to write that 4 by 1 that means four inputs and one output based on two selection lines let us consider selection lines represented with s0 and s1 so the s0 and s1 values depending upon these values the multiplexer produce the output suppose s0 and s1 values are 0 0 the zero output comes as sorry the zero input comes as a output that means the zero is the output suppose 0 1 the first input come as a output that equal to 1 the 1 0 the second input come as a output or 1 1 the third input come as a output otherwise to understand better i am going to be one once again i write that suppose this is the multiplexer right it has the two selection lines s0 and s1 its capacity is 4 by 1 that means it takes four inputs and one output actually so the first input is a the second input is b the third input is c and fourth input is d only one output right here again i am going to write that suppose the s0 s0 and s1 values are zero we are getting the output as a that means the first input as a output 0 1 that your values are 0 1 the second input as the output b 1 0 the third input c as the output and 1 1 that is the fourth input d comes as a 
output i hope you can understand better the next one we are going to be use the registers we know that the memory is formed with the help of the registers the register is a set of flip flops simply we are going to write flip flops simply i'm going to call it as eff in capital letters flip flops so what is the first i am going to be explain registers and then i am going to be explain flip flops generally the register shown as a rectangular box and we are going to be representing its name generally registers are represented with capital letter r and its capacity on its top that means from right to left 0 to 7 that means it is the 8 bit registers like that this is the 0 bit this is the first bit this is the second bit and so on this is the eighth bit right each and every bit of the register is manufactured or created with the help of the flip-flop so what is a flip-flop flip-flop is a sequential circuit flip-flop is a sequential circuit which is able to store either 1 or 0. That means flip-flop is a sequential circuit which is capable of storing one bit of information. Suppose we are going to be considered this is the flip-flop, one bit, that means this bit, right? It is able to store either 1 or 0. Now we are going to be construct a common bus with the help of the registers and flip-flops so how we are to construct the common bus i am going to consider actually four four bit registers and four multiplexers now i am going to be draw the diagram please carefully observe that one right i draw the diagram Right. I am going to be consider four four bit registers. Now I am going to be take this is the register A. This is the register A and zero, one, two, three, three bits. And this is the register B. It also four bits zero one two. 3. This is the register C. Zero, one, two, three. And this is the register D. This is also zero, one, two, three. Four bits of four registers and four four by one multiplexers. Now here I am going to be right. This is the multiplexer 0. I am going to represent max 0. This is also the 4 by 1 capacity. That means this is the 0 bit. This is the first bit. This is the second bit. And this is the third bit. 0, 1, 2, 3. And this is the second multiplexer. This is called as max 1. It also 4 by 1, that means 0 bit, first bit, second bit, and third bit. And third multiplexer, max 2, it, it is also the 4 by 1 capacity. This is the 0 bit, this is the first bit, this is the second bit, and this is the third bit. Now I am going to be draw the fourth multiplexer that means max 3. Right? This is also the 4 by 1 capacity. This is 0, 1, 2, 3. Third bit, 0 bit, first bit, second bit, third bit. This is the output 4 by 1. First output of the 0 multiplexer. 
output of the second multiplexer output of the third multiplexer and output of the fourth multiplexer so the all the outputs of the multiplexers are combinedly construct a common bus this is the concept now to select the which input turned as the output right i am going to be use two selection lines i am going to be use two selection lines let us consider this is s1 right this is connected to the all the multiplexers and another line is s0 because the multiplexer produce the output based on the selection lines just we discussed this is the s0 again i am going to consider s0 line to all the multiplexers now we would like to connect a connection between the a connection between the resistors and multiplexers to make the connection all the zero bits of each and every register connected to the multiplexer so the register this is a a not bit generally the a not bit is connected to the zero bit of the first multiplexer in the same way the b not bit because this is the this is the zero register this is the first register Con the zero bit of the that is known as the p not is connected to the first bit of the zero multiplexer and same way the first bit that is known as the c not this is connected to the third bit of the that means second bit of the first multiplexer zero in the same way the first bit in the register known as the d not this is connected to the the fourth bit of the zero multiplexer in the same way the second bit of the register a is connected to the first bit of the second multiplexer like this just i am going to be make it like because we are going to be draw all the lines the uh, diagram is very much confused hence i am going to be connected only one bit from each and every register to only one of the multiplexer i am explain once again consider all zero bits of each and every register that means a not and b not c not and d not is connected to the in sequentially all the bits 0 1 2 3 bits of the zero multiplexer now we are going to be operate this one now let us consider actually the s1 and s0 values this is the s1 and this is the s0 values these are the 0 0 values now which one has the output all the zero bits of the multiplexer is selected as the output here zero means a0 is connected here zero means a1 is connected here zero means second multiplexer second bit of the first register a2 is connected here in zero means a3 is connected now with the s0 and s1 values are 0 0 the register a is selected as output that means the content of the register a is transferred to the through the multiplexer to the common bus right suppose the s0 0 1 the content of the register b is transferred to the common bus 1 0 that means s1 value equal to 1 s0 value equal to 0 the content of the register c is transferred to the common bus right suppose 1 1 the content of the register d is transferred to the common bus okay friends this is the how we are going to be draw and explain for your reference i am going to show show you a document this is the document in this document 
we are going to be represented a digital com system that means computer consisting of many registers and path must be provided to transfer information between these components just uh, next one a bus is on the other hand a more efficient for transferring information between the registers in the register configuration system bus consisting of set of common lines and each bit of the register through which binary information transferred at a time so how I, what i am going to be consider components that is multiplexers and registers here i am going to be connected all the third bits that means a3 b3 c3 d3 to the bits input bits of the third multiplexer okay this is the diagram which are neatly represented to uh, understand better so i am going to be write the operation procedure right s not 00 a is a register contents are selected 0 1 b c and d okay friends this is how we are going to construct the common bus with the help of the multiplexers it is also possible we are going to be construct the common bus with the help of the three state buffers so that is the i am going to be discuss in another video we are going to be three state buffers common bus construction i hope you can understand this video thank you